What's up, YouTube? I'm coming at y'all from an undisclosed location. Part 4, 2022, ginseng season. Got some nice sun creeping through on the face. 49 degrees right now. We still got some green going on. Man, check out all the leaves on the ground. It's going to be hard to find some sand today, I believe, boys. But at least we're out here in the woods. Got a little free time today. I might as well make the best out of it. I was walking my little creek bottom right here. And this log jam right here is where I found the biggest ginseng root of my life. If y'all don't remember, I had it laid out on this tree right here. Stuck the root about right there. And got to looking around. Bingo. Ginseng. Look at that dead ginseng on the ground. You gotta keep your eyes out this time of year. Look at that. All you see is red berries. Plenty of sing up here. This is this is definitely the offspring of my biggest root I ever dug. And if y'all want to check that video out, it's gonna be right there. I'm gonna harvest a couple of these. First ginseng of the day. You see the berries is what stood that one out, but then if you check this one out right there, you follow that stock up. That's a ginseng plant. Oh, this looks like a pretty decent plant here. Could be a monster, guys. They are both growing so close to each other. Right there. Could just be one big plant in there. Some real good stocks on these. I can't wait to see what's in there. Alright, this is key. This is what you really got to look for this time of year. The little pistol that holds all the berries. That's what I seen on this one. This one had this one leaf right there. That's what I seen. On the other one, it was right next to it. It was all the way bare. That's the root I got off the bare one. That's the root I got off the other one. It broke. It broke right here where they connect. But I got pretty much all of it. Go back into the video posted right there and check out the biggest ginseng plant I ever found right here in the same location heart shaped leaves wild ginger always a good sign and one of the number one signs of course is spice bush I mean you can always tell it's spice bush you grab a leaf crush it up in your hand and it has a very very distinct smell I don't know how to describe it but every time I leave the ginseng woods my clothes smell like this right here. Spice bush. AKA tree with red berry. Love you, Grandpa. All right, y'all. I just got everything packed up. About to shoot on up the hill a little farther. Figured I would just look around a little bit. Right there. That's what you got to look for. That, my friends, is ginseng. We're going to leave that one keep cruising this hillside but yeah i appreciate y'all being with me man make sure you hit that thumb share me out we're out here putting in work and wishing it would find that same stopped right here to take a shot of this little flower right here and peered over my shoulder through the brush right here Bingo. Got a four. Four pronger. 
Man, they're tough to pick out right now. Seen nothing up here. Making my way up from where I just found the last ones. Thick up in here. Barely get through this stuff, and the ginseng blends in like crazy with all these down leaves. I see some. Oh, tough one to get. It's grown to the tree roots. Still got a berry holding on. All right, put that berry right here. Might not be able to get this one. There's a lot of roots in the way. There you go. No, I didn't kill that plant just because I broke the top on it. I actually do that anyway so people don't poach. Small plants. This little guy caught my eye. Buried in seeds. Man, this thing's hard to find. A lot of leaves. Yeah. Not ideal. At all. Can't believe I found any, honestly. In this, I've been finding more lower. Not up here, up high. More leaves up here. Still looking. Still looking. Little three prong. We're gonna let this guy go. Plant the berries. Tons of little ginseng I'm popping up. And when I say popping up, guys, I'm not keeping it. I'm just popping the top so poachers don't come in here like assholes and take these little two prongers. Like there are people who would dig this. Um, yeah, it's pretty sick, but that does not kill the plant. It dies every year and comes back Makes me wonder why there's not a big one here with all these little ones now that I see all them little ones I realize those are definitely seeds that I've planted dug the mother plant planted the little ones back Come back in a few years and harvest those Now, you know, you can tell many things about a tree about the bark the leaves what way the limbs grow. This tree here is used for traveling. Now I know we got some shit experts out there. What's been traveling down this tree? What we have here? Oh. Keep going down. 
the littlest nuggets in the world. Come on, all you poop experts. Name that dump. <laughs> Finding more closer to the creek, so we're gonna drop back down. Man, it's so yellow up here, it's hard to find any. Ginseng's mainly yellow. Now here we got some wild ginger. Spice bush, wild ginger growing. Spice bush. There we go. There's one. Uh, we ain't gonna dig that one, but beautiful plant. Plant the berry. just took off some kind of animal was in there I don't know what it was chipmunk squirrel something was down there I'm gonna check this other side out for a minute look pretty juicy right here where I'm at See, it's stuff like this you gotta look for. This one here's leaves have actually been eaten off. That's some kind of spider or something. Still, you can see the pistol. A little two pronger. I'm still cruising this side of this bank. Haven't found a diggable plant in about 45 minutes. A lot of it's already died off. Man, this is some thick stuff. This side. I'm up here, y'all. Not easy walking. It's been hours since I found any. These leaves are killing me. I've seen a couple cedar trees, which is a, not a good sign for ginseng. This cedar tree right here. A few mixed in here. So looks like we need to start walking the other direction. We're in the middle of a drought, pretty much. Man, y'all, I just spotted a butte. I'm telling you, it is tough to find. Right there. Check that ginseng plant out, man. That thing is beautiful. Pretty crazy. Hanging on by a thread. All right, that's what I just got there. That's not a bad root there. That's a decent root. Some of the water roots broke out. This is a very, very tough session today, guys. I'm, I'm struggling to find anything. You really gotta have your eyes cracked today. Man, check out this den tree. Oh, you know something was down in that, baby. Kind of taking my time, scooting through here, bouncing up and down on the hillsides. I might pop over to this side, it's starting to look a little better. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is eventually I'm going to scale right back up this hill. I'm going to go down and then check out the other side on my way back. I, mean, I appreciate y'all being with me. And this is shore and some beautiful country out here. All right, I'm trying to figure a way off this hill. It is very steep. Very steep. Oh, man, I made it. That's what I just had to go down. That ain't no joke. Other side now. 
curiosity reasons. I haven't been over here in a couple of years. Bad idea coming over here so far. Very rocky. You guys look very rocky. Definitely some wild rock formations around here. It's telling me to go up this side. One up three. One up at three different times now. Nothing, but this could be the right time. I'm gonna go up down here though. Not easy walk. Alright, this is all we ended up with. I usually only pick mature roots, and here's what some of it was looking like. Some of it was golden, but as you can see, it was blending in very well. Um, it was super hard to find, and a lot of the ginseng I was finding, no BS. That's all I could see was that right there, and then bingo, just a little spot where the berries were holding on. Now, this is definitely going to do it for the year. Um, I only got to get out three or four times, but any time out in the woods is a win for me. I appreciate you guys watching. Catch y'all next season, man. Peace.